can classify that on the basis of structure and development. Okay. Here are given nine five. Don't be confused. Okay. Here 
examples. We will read with examples. Okay. Plenty help in this. And that examples are tapeworm and liver fluid. They are mainly live as a parasite. That is parasitic animals. And that parasite means they live on body of other animals or they depend on other animals for their food. They depend totally on others. They can be found on intestine and here is given liver fluid that is mainly found on liver of other organisms. It can be found inside our liver. That means human beings or it can be found inside sheep, dog, any type of domestic animals. That means a parasite. And next fifth one is S. helminthes. And the examples are roundworm and hookworm. They are similar but they are little bit flat animals. Plate helminthes and these are cylindrical types. And the examples are roundworms and hookworms. They also find inside the intestine of human beings or any domestic animals. They are mainly found inside the sea. So sometimes we eat that raw meat but we should not eat raw meat because inside the gut or sea there may be found round worms. Okay? So we should cook meat properly before eating. Okay. Next one is any dab and examples are earthworm and leaves. I think all of you have seen the earthworm and leaves in your surrounding also. Did you see earthworm and leaves? Yes, they are the examples of pylon and dab. And examples are what? Earthworm and leaves. Okay. After that, next phylum is Arthropoda. And all the arthropods are insects. All the insects around us, they are on the phylum Arthropoda. Examples are butterfly, grasshopper, or any examples of insects, all which have their jointed legs. They are the arthropods. And they are called Arthropoda. What are the examples of Arthropoda? Okay. Butterfly, grasshopper. You can read any insect. They are all the examples of Arthropoda. After Arthropoda, next one is Mollusca. Or they are also called a Molluses. And examples are Snail and Octopus. Did you see the snail? Yes, we can find a snail mainly in rainy season. When rainy season will come after first rain, we, will can, we can see many snails around our surrounding. Octopus, they are the marine animals, but we can, this octopus we cannot see in our country. They are mainly found on the sea, okay? Okay, next one is Echinodermata or last phylum is Echinodermata. And the example is starfish and sea cucumber. What is the last phylum? Echinodermata. And examples are starfish and sea cucumbers. They are mainly known as marine animals and they are also called as sea animals. They are found on salty water, not in fresh water. These are the examples of echinoderms. Okay, all of you just practice all these phylums name and examples in your book. Uh, that is given in your book also and practice more and more at home. Okay, okay, thank you. This much for today.